Hello everyone and welcome to this week's weekly recap from November 25th to November 29th. Let's -a go! As always, starting off with the Wednesdays, we continue on our journey on Fallout 4. With a little bit of exploring to start off with, we meet the robot captain on this giant ship. Meeting up with the nearby scavengers that want us to destroy the robots, we did it, we help them and fix the ship, get a huge war between the scavengers and the robots, and the ship flies up, actually landing up on another building, which made this whole thing rather pointless. We did explore a bit more, seeing if we could find some useful side quests or not, but we didn't, so we went on with our institute missions as we joined them. Continue our mass fusion, where we got stuck on the last time, apparently I was doing something completely wrong, and now we got enemies with the Brotherhood of Steel. We went off the entire building, and we got the Beryllium Agitator, and we escaped the building without that much problems. After that, we were supposed to convince Tia's Wallace to join the Institute, which we did, and after doing that, we activated the nuclear reactor. After that, we got told to wipe out the railroads, which I myself wasn't too happy about. At. Apparently after my choice, I was no turning back on this point, so we went on it, and we wiped out the railroads. Loads. And after that, we started off the war with the Brotherhood of Steel. After going on the war with their huge robot, which we uh, put a virus in, and we blow up the entire Brotherhood base. Fun little fact, Piper gets ma massively mad at us, and two minutes later she's like, Oh, I couldn't be so much happier. But after that, we finished off the main story of Fallout 4, and I decided to call it a quits at this point for Fallout, because I don't think I could do much without completely repeating the every time and doing the somewhat repetitive side quest. So that's becoming a new game for Thursdays. Now coming down to the Thursdays, we start off with Sonic Adventure 2 for Steam. A very fun game, I used to play the game ridiculously much back on my GameCube. So what I already said in the beginning of the stream, I would only do the story modes because Chow Garden is like really, really slow and I think getting all the emblems is fairly pointless if you're not doing anything with Chow Garden. So we purchased that the hero story on today and there's not much to say there, so that's where we move on to the Fridays. And now for the Fridays, continuing off with another day of Sonic Adventure 2. The only thing we did is um, finishing up the dark story together with the last story. We had a lot of fun. We ended off the game story right there. We got to see Shadow die. And we did a little salute for the Shadow with a little chaos control. Let's head off to the Saturdays. As we come to the Saturdays, which of course are still my retro Saturdays, as always, we continue on with Super Mario 64, we finished it off with 120 stars. I also at the end showed a little glitch that I found way back as a child, when I was going to the top of the castle with my flying hat. Since way back in my time, there was a rumor if you would do that, you would find Luigi, and you would be able to play with him. However, I did not find Luigi. But I did find I could glitch into the tower and end up behind the door of the castle and going inside the castle. I would also land up between the wall. It's not a very useful glitch, but it is very fun to see in my opinion. We'll start a little teaser of what we're going to be starting next week on the Retro Saturdays. It's Donkey Kong 64, just saying. Since I got my original N64 working again at a controller, so we're going to have a lot of fun on Saturdays right now. As we come to the Sundays, we get our new game started up, which is The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. I actually like this game because you actually use your Wiimote as a sword and, you know, you don't probably know how it all works. So anyways, we first start off getting almost killed by Zelda because she pushes us off and our bird doesn't show up, which is horrible. So we have to find our little bird, which was hidden by this guy called Groose, who wants his little alone time with Zelda. Then we do a little few side quests, like, you know, getting the cat off the building and whatever or not. After that, we do get our sword training and we get our first little sword. So we use that to get to a couple of pipes, get into the caves, fight some monsters, get to the other side of the cave to find our bird being trapped behind a bunch of planks and whatever you want not. After that we hurry our asses to join the ceremony ways which was nicely delayed just for us because we're so nice. We also won it even though there was a lot of cheating by the enemy involved and we received our silk loaf from Zelda which she self made. After that you get a little moment that it seems like she's gonna kiss you but she actually just pushes you a pillar again just because she can. After we do take a little flight around with Zelda after that she actually gets into a little something and grabs down below the clouds. After that we wake up in the middle of the night getting lead around by something that leads us to the goddess sword and we receive that sword and I must later receive our classic outfit, the little green outfit that everyone knows and loves. After putting the tablet down in a little specific place, we find our way to our first area, the sealed grounds. Pretty much after that, after we find down, we actually end up in the woods, running into the species called the Kikwis. After that, we also find their leader, and they ask us to find all the other Kikwis that are still around the area. 
So we do that, not much problems found there. After that, we get the little slingshot. And after we do that, we actually go back to town to visit this guy called Beetle, which you remember from the Wind Waker, and goes like, Ow! When you talk to him and when you buy stuff, he goes like, Thank you! After being in Beetle's shop, we bought two upgrades, which is two Tamil wallets, so instead of 300 rupees, we can now carry 900 rupees. Also, we upgraded our shield, and we showed what he does if you go in the shop, look at something, don't buy it, and we try to go out, he just pops you out of the ship down below and you splat to the ground. So after they did that, we went back to the temple in front of it, we saved, and we called it the Nazis over there. And that, my friends, was this week's weekly recap. I hope you enjoyed it. Also, if you might have noticed, my mic quality is a little different than from last week. That is because I got a mixer. You might be able to expect a little review about it because I love it so far. Nonetheless, if you liked the video, feel free to give me a thumbs up. If you would like to see more or would want to see more, feel free to subscribe. If you would like to see me live sometimes, click the little twist thing on the left to go to my channel, follow me there, and get a notification when I go live. And as always, this is Rodknos, and I'm out. And I'll see you guys on the next weekly recap.